Yay, my transition button worked. Hi everyone, welcome to Adobe Live. Um, we'd like to begin by acknowledging the traditional owners of the land in which we are creating and streaming from today and pay our respects to elders past, present and emerging. My name is Flynn, I'm hosting today and I'm here with the fantastic design educator, Hannah Bacon. Hi Hannah, how are you? I'm good, how are you? I'm good, thanks. Very good, thanks. We had a great stream yesterday. I hope some of you caught that. If you didn't, you can always go back and check it out. If you've got any questions about what we're kind of, you know, getting up to today, we're focusing on branding. Um, I'll let Hannah take over all that sort of stuff. But we are live. Um, we're live. We're here. We're hanging out for the next hour. We had lots of great questions yesterday. I think, Hannah, you will agree um, around yeah. branding, like education, running a business, different tools and things like that. So please don't hesitate. It's always great when we get lots of questions. Um, we are from Australia as well, and we're streaming for the first time on the Global Channel. So um, love to hear where you're from, uh, what is going on with you. That would be great. But Hannah, uh, without further ado, um, I'm going to start with a question and then we can kind of jump into the content. But design educator, um, how did that come about that you wanted to start sharing and helping people with their design journey, their design careers? That's a really good question. I, well, in, back in uni, <laughs> This is taking me back. Back in uni, I started a design club at the uni because we didn't have one. And that's kind of where I fell in love with it. I was like, oh, we're running all these workshops and stuff. And um, it it was just really cool. So uh, shout out to the SCD um, crew if they're listening. Uh, but it yeah, it was just really fun. And then I was asked if I actually wanted to teach after I'd finished uni. And so I went back and started teaching. And then I was like, yes, this is for me. And I mm. just... Um, I, you probably noticed I talk a lot about design. I, I could just talk on and on and on about it. I'm really passionate about it. So yeah, I just, it's a fun thing for me to talk about. And I love um, seeing people kind of grow as designers. I yeah. just, I've never been able to gatekeep information, even if I wanted to. I'm just like, share, 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 share. And I think in design, there's a bit of a culture sometimes of um, we don't share as much as we could. So yeah, I'm just out here spreading the good word. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Yeah, it is great watching like you teach people over time and then later you see them kind of excel and continue in their career. And it's like, oh, it's such a great feeling. Yeah, yeah it's cool. incredible. Yeah, I like it. Um, all right. Fantastic. So um, any uh, any questions for Hannah as we're going along? As I said, uh, we'll keep an eye on the Behance chat and on YouTube as well. And uh, let's get stuck into it. We called this one the brand rollout, um, which I quite like. So do you want to kind of put that in context um, for anyone yeah. that maybe missed yesterday's session? Um, I'll just share my illustrator. So cool. we have created a brand in um, illustrator and then we jumped in and rolled it out or not rolled it out, but we worked on um, getting it uploaded into um, Adobe express. So we've filled out our brand here. Uh, it's for a fitness company, um, fitness apparel called hold out. We've got, way too many bright fun colors to use we added our fonts and we've got some graphics in here um and you can see down here there's a little section for templates so that's what we're going to be working on today is getting some templates created for this brand that they can then take and roll out across um whatever they need to on their end because everybody's creating social media content constantly like mm. um and i don't know i think i read that businesses spend like 20 hours a week creating social media content. So, oh, wow. um, yeah, yeah it's a lot, like you've just got to be on it, keep up. So, um, yeah, today we're going to look at how we can create content for our clients and then share that as a template with them so they can, um, go ahead and create it themselves kind of on the fly as they need to. So then we have the time to move on with the jobs, the bigger jobs and work on our own social media. Mm, yeah. We're going to save time in social Sorry. media so we can do more social media. Got it. That it never ends, does it? <laughs> <laughs> Just never will. But that's the way it works. Yeah. yeah, that's it. That's it. The nature of the beast. Um, yeah, so... Uh, we might just jump back into where we were when we finished off yesterday, if that's yes. all right. So Sounds we kind good. of picked up this um, template that we created. Oh, we didn't create this. Adobe Express has created this um, and we kind of picked it up and we started creating our own based off that. So we've got like the paper textures and stuff. It was just a really good like launch pad for us to think about. Um, maybe this could be an Instagram story for the business and we can um, 
from here download it as a um as an asset and then you know they you could upload it or whatever or they could save it as a template um and what i'm going to do actually before we jump into that so i thought it might be good to outline um just what the process is for me in terms of getting these templates across to my clients yeah cool so um the first approach you can take is you can find a template that you think has a lot of elements that you can work with that's got some elements inspiring you you're like yes this is the vibe i want to create um and do it straight from adobe express uh, and then you can uh customize with your brands colors and fonts and all those things update the text basically anything add video animation which we'll do a bit of as well and then you can uh share it save it as a template hand it over to the client and then the second approach, probably with a little bit more um, control or if you're doing something that's a bit more systematic in terms of a very particular um, setup, you know what you want it to look like. You can go from Illustrator, upload your Illustrator files. It will convert it to um, Adobe Express and then uh, we can mess around with the template there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to do both of those things cool. um, and how to set up your file uh, just a little bit in Illustrator, what we need to do to make sure it's going to translate across to Adobe Express well. And I've just nice. got here, we design with Adobe Express in mind because um, it's just got different functionality and you have to be thinking, how's the client going to be using using Adobe Express um, because they're obviously not trained professionals as mm -hmm. we are. That's right. Maybe they are. Who knows? Maybe they are. Yeah. Um, so, that's cool. Yeah, yeah. because, yeah, it's we, we were joking a little bit in the previous stream just about, you know, you sort of hand over, you, if you saw the original brand documentation or something for a lot of brands, but then you sort of look on a year or two mm. later, and it's like what, what the client actually does with it. <laughs> it's all well and good to have a really beautiful portfolio piece, but if your goal is to help out the business, then this is a really key, yeah. often overlooked part, which is that's, how can you help oh, yeah. them action the brand and use it so you don't want it to be too complicated you want it to be approachable you don't want them yeah. spending all of their time doing social either because yeah they know that, yeah you know they have a business to run so yeah this is a really crucial important part that i think is often overlooked yeah exactly that's it and like i feel like we could probably talk about it more through design education just from my time at university i mean there's so much to learn there is so much to learn but we that's could definitely trick, think it? about that yeah that client process um and how how we can actually like think think with them in mind but you know you do touch on a lot of stuff like design thinking and um uh personas and those types of things and i guess you need to build personas for your own clients and think what do they need they probably need a little tutorial on how to get started in um in express and they're off and running and then that's something you can add to your packages um and charge a little bit more of those cash dollars nice i like it uh, so i'm just adding a half tone to this but i feel like that's not like grungy enough so i think we'll find a different one um because we just want it for those playing along at home we just want to get this kind of feeling uh that we've got in the branding here of the half tone and i could grab um the textures from my illustrated document but it's just so easy to use it <laughs> in adobe express yeah. so um some of the time i'll unlock that that's what's working some of the time i just kind of like don't do the textures over across from um illustrator because it's just easier to do it this way yeah that looks a little better okay and then we will just go multiply pull the opacity down cool and then we'll lock it because we don't want to accidentally bump it mm. all right so let's oh sometimes i find it a little bit tricky to grab the elements let's just zoom in so grouping them is always really handy hmm i can grab it e Sorry. Have I, exactly oh, you know what? I probably I like. I do it the same way. I'm like, okay, I'll grab everything and then I'll minus all this. Yeah. Stuff. Make sure that I'm not picking yeah. anything else up. Yeah. Um, yeah. What are we doing? Okay, we're going to move this all the way to the top. Oh, maybe there's a locked layer over the top and that's why. There uh, we go. All right, yeah. let's group it. There we go. Always with the layers. Um, uh, and I think what we're going to do is have a different colored learn more button. Maybe we'll do like a shop now. So you can just, say. yeah, that's it. <laughs> you got to get to the shop, do it now. Shop 
now. All right. Let's go. Yeah. Yeah. And have you ever been like, ah, oh, I better do it? <laughs> I mean, I probably have, honestly. We probably I do so. really subconsciously, right? It's like, yeah, I should click now. Yeah. It seems really kind of <laughs> cheesy to type, but it obviously works. Well, everybody does it, so. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's it. You're like, that's a great idea. I never thought of that. I always love the, like, the fake kind of, oh, there's eight people looking at this item in the store. Oh. You like those ones? Yeah. The, yeah. There's always. Yeah. And I hate the notifications where someone's, like, purchased something. I'm like, I don't, I don't get it. I don't believe you either. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I don't believe that at all. Um, all right, so I'm gonna, I'm just gonna ungroup this because it's um, giving me a bit of a pain at the moment. Just while we're resizing, there we go. Right, so what we're gonna do now, if you, if you watched yesterday, I, sp I spoke about these um, swipe files, so I could jump in and figure out my colors and stuff that I want to change the fonts to. But what I've got here is um, a folder that I've created called Holdout Swipe. And we're just going to go, these are our color combinations for the text. Right click, edit in new window, and it's just going to open it up for me. This is a file that I've um, brought in from Illustrator. So I, um, I uploaded an Illustrator file. Hmm. And let's go this one, and I can just copy it over. Oh, paste it in. It's really great. So and then I've like, got my. Just sorry, go on. Oh, yeah, got my color combos. Nice. Um, I was just going to say, it's really great um, how well Express kind of integrates with, oh, did you just color pick that? Okay, cool. I didn't actually know. Yeah, that color it's pretty like I should be yeah. using the, yeah, I nice. should be using the uh, <laughs> correct Because you can use the brand libraries method, as well. I just didn't know that there was a color picker. Yeah. In, so that's really cool to know. It's just it's me being lazy. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> I was going to say the integration with um, Illustrator is really great. Like if you've developed, you know, shortcuts and you're very fast and you can do really complex, you know, quick can very quickly do things in something like Illustrator and then importing it, you know, into yeah. um, uh, Express. It's quite a cool yep. combo. So it's not like, oh, all those Illustrator skills are now useless. You just use Express. So yeah, exactly. They work really well and together. If, if you, it's in, like, it's blowing me away. And every day I feel like I'm learning something new about it. Mm. If you, I just learned this from a, a different stream. Let's find something that's not going to be too chunky. But if I like, if I grab this, copy it in Illustrator, head back to... Uh, oh, I just got the circle, but it copied it in. Like that's mm. that's banana ramens. I'll try and get both. I was just like, are you sure? <laughs> what? <laughs> Let's have a look. There we go. Look at that. That's crazy. So if it's I wanted to edit the in. color, wow. yeah. So and it's just an image now, um, so you can't edit it. Mm. But it's like sometimes that's all you need. But you're like, oh, just make a small change. Done. Yeah. That's it. Add it to the library. That's and you just want to test things out as well, like working on the fly a bit more. Um, all right, so great. We're going to shop now. We're going to cap it off with style. Um, I am going to add in some some graphics that we uploaded yesterday. Your stuff, brands and libraries, and uh, this is now branding. So I'm working with the brands and the libraries just because I feel like. They have slightly different functionalities, and I like the ability to continue to upload to the brand. Mm. Um, when you convert um, your library to a brand from Express, you can, as far as I'm aware, you can no longer upload to that brand, and maybe the client wants to add something, and I think it's just better to have the option. Yeah. But you can always convert it back to a library too, so it's really much a muchness. So let's say we wanted to add in... Uh, well, I didn't this one. I don't even know what this is called. Like a little hand. When I was naming them, I was like, it's a grippy thing. Oh, yeah. Um, I don't know what that's called. Chat, any idea? Does it have? I Googled it. No, it doesn't seem to have a name. Oh, really? <laughs> Something you see. Oh, like it probably does. It's just... a meme, like almost like as a joke, right? Like. Yeah, yeah, like Arnold Schwarzenegger, and yeah, yeah. Uh, so we can change the color if we want to, which it's pretty effective, like this. Like it's really good for mm. those images that ah uh, cool. But maybe we don't want it that color. But what happens if we we want to use something like this style, which has two colors in it? It's actually you still can update the colors. Um, let's go into effects duotone so we can pick but we want our brand colors because we're very particular about mm. how it's all going to work we don't need and any new colors you can see what i'm sure, 
because we've got so many. We don't definitely do not need <laughs> new colors. But you can see when I'm picking these colors, it's actually like changing changing it slightly because it's affecting the high, highlights. It's not just changing right. the color of it. Yeah. So sense. this is this is how I can get around that. We'll go back to our swipe file, and it's a it's a little bit. It's got more pieces to it, if that makes sense. I'll show you here. So I've uploaded a graphic swipe file, and this has got my little arrows and squiggles and stuff in it that I can grab. And this is an Illustrator file that I've uploaded. You can change the thickness. You can change the, the border style and stuff. So hmm. it's super handy to make those kind of customizations, especially for your client. So they're not like emailing you going, how can I make this a dotted line? And you're like, oh, my God, I have to like open Illustrator. And you just be like, just use the swipe file. Yeah. Okay. Um, so, yeah, it's pretty cool. But with these ones, like you can see here, I'll just delete that for a second. It does import as um an editable object i don't really really know what the file type is but that means that we can edit the colors individually so i've got this color here which is now separate uh, and instead of like importing that as two separate items you've got it as one hmm. um, but you do i mean it will import as line work but in illustrator i prepare that by um expanding the shape and just um, kind of compressing the shape as much as possible. I can see that, that I didn't do a very good job. But, um, yeah, so you can see that's a fill. It's not a stroke. And then we can change it to whatever colour we want. We'll just stick with that for now. And then I'm going to group that bit. So we've got all the, essentially, the line work, but it's a solid shape grouped. And then group it with the background. Swipe it out of my swipe file. Paste it into our working doc. Okay, and this is where it gets a little bit um, not complicated, but there's just a couple of um, a couple of um, elements going on. So I've clicked on that, and I can see that it's grouped. And if you click on that little icon, it will take you inside the group. Mm. So it's kind of like double clicking in Illustrator. And I've got this background shape here, which I can change the color of. Uh, happy to take recommendations on colors. <laughs> We're really, really rolling the dice with the amount of colors we've got going on. <laughs> and uh, then we've got this line section. And so I can't change it while it's grouped. And this is the, the dicey part. You just need to stay organized. Hit ungroup. You've got it all selected, but they're individual. So you don't want to click off. Hmm. You go fill. You can come down to your, oh, that's pretty awful. Uh, come down. I mean, I don't mind that. We'll take, we'll take suggestions. I'm very happy to <laughs> update this. Let's roll with let's roll with the pink, and now we're going to regroup it, um, and then we might make that the light green. And we might um, Have I might be questioning these aqua decisions. Aqua from the water bottle. Ooh, okay, aqua from the water bottle. Let's get the water bottle in there. The like this or like this aqua, or like just aqua aqua. All right, I get it. Um, let's get into this one. So, the, this one, that one. Um, we're going to swap to... Oh, we can't access libraries from here, which is kind of annoying. I really didn't want to add in all of my... Um, oh, no, we can. That's good. Um, I didn't want to add in all of my secondary and third, third, thirdary colours. <laughs> so, um, there we go. Oh, Just God. into the brands, because that would, like, kind of drive the the client crazy so we can do maybe that one that one we'll go with the light one yeah looks good to me all right this is why you don't want to design a brand with too many colors i think this is probably overdoing it but we're right. having a great time so let's chuck in maybe we'll chuck in some of these little dumbbells barbells we'll do the same thing where we will select the line work group it Select the background. Yep. So that's a one piece. So we'll just group the whole thing, copy it, swipe it in. There we go. And we'll do something really similar. And we might pull it down to behind that text. Add a bit of bit jump of into. Yeah. We're going to animate it in as well. So it's going to kind of tumble in and. Oh, cool do some jazzy things yeah so click on the line work ungroup it 
and then we're taking suggestions but i'm just gonna i'm just gonna go for it with this one <sighs> did i make a mistake <laughs> there we go and then we'll click on the background color and we might make it i don't know the light blue no definitely not the pink Ooh, this is problematic isn't it yellow i'm i'm not enjoying any of these <laughs> uh it's too close um lime for the dun for the dumbbell was a suggestion from chat <laughs> thanks elise all right we'll do we'll do, do like the limey color and then we'll go back to <laughs> i hope this is not like <laughs> causing distress to anybody um all right we're we're in our line work so we could line it up oh we've got the whole thing selected that's interesting mm, oh no that's it that's it and it just needs to come to the top of that group i think or is it no longer grouped? Hang on. We're just going to go. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. <laughs> we're just going to go back. <laughs> oh my gosh. What a savior. So that's our feel. Great. So that's at the bottom. All right. So we'll just select the whole thing. No, we won't. Oh, guys, sorry. Hmm. We'll get there. That's our feel. Mm. So I reckon. trying to select the line work only. Yeah, and I think we're just going to do it in this. We're going to do it in a separate file where it's nothing on the background. All right, so we've got whole thing, deselect. Oh, yeah, we already did ourselves a favor by doing that. All right, ungroup, what are we going to do? We're going to go, oh, I drop. Oh, gonna my go volume pink and yellow. yellow. I'm going to try and turn it up a bit. How's that? Can you let me know. All right, we're just going to stick with pink and yellow, and I, apo <laughs> I apologize. <laughs> just in general, I just apologize for that. <laughs> there we go. It seems like we need a, a color combination swipe shape for the graphics as well. Um, and these are things that you need to think about when you're rolling out the brand and why it's really good to create templates so that you can kind of work through these things and be like, how are they going to pick the colors? Like, this is crazy. And um, this is great for you doing it and maybe having those static elements that they can't change the colors could be a better option as well. But for right now, we're yeah. just going to roll with it. So we're going to animate this now. So we're just going to awesome. click on this group, head into animation, and we're going to animate it in. I had a lot of fun playing with these animations. It's it's probably the craziest thing I think that Express does. Um, yeah, it just simplifies it. Yeah, it's and just the tumble. fact that everything moves on the internet, right? Like if we're talking about social media, mm. everything moves now. Like even your posts can animate because you can yeah. share them as reels yeah. and even boomerangs and things like that. So adding like simple animations um, to everything, animate everything. Like yeah. It seems to be the way It just makes it so much more. Yeah, it's almost now like if you're not doing that, you're not keeping up rather than it's an extra. Right. So it's like it's crazy that it's now... All right, that looks that looks pretty tumbly, right? We're just trying to sell some fitness gear, so we need the we need the momentum. Um, I'm I'm not digging the color of this at all. <laughs> so we might animate this one, and we'll do we'll animate in again, and we might whoa tumble it. Well, that that but tumble kind of makes sense, direction. right? Because it's a heavy yeah. heavy weight. Yeah, I like it. Yeah, we'll just soften it up so it's not too. Is that too soft now? Maybe we'll shorten the duration. Oh, yeah. Okay. That's like you're not afraid that you're going to get hit by the exercise <laughs> equipment, but it's, it's there's an impact, so that's good. All righty. So let's uh, maybe let's animate our text as well. We're going to do a loop animation. We might make it like make a little wiggle. Oh, I love a little wiggle. Wiggle's right. great. Slow it down. We've just got to get the, the contrast in movement between the shop now mm. and the the text the headline text up here so where do we want the um emphasis i feel like the shop now could be like a click like we could have it like looking like a click button and then maybe oh yeah have a link to click so we'll mm. just keep it subtle for the for the for the cap it off with style and cool we'll go to have i grouped this there we go group it um we'll animate and we'll, we'll make it like a click so is that like a pulse 
No, that's... <laughs> Yo, yo, wiggle. I just love the wiggle. It's pretty good. But I feel like so, pulse is the up, answer to yeah. the question, though. All right, we'll slow it down. Uh, yeah, we'll slow it down. Um, how's that? So if we play the whole thing, do we have enough contrast between the shot now and the... I feel like that needs to come down just a way little bit in terms of intent. I love that it's called intensity. It's like, yeah, I guess that's exactly what it is. Yeah, and there's another thing that says like personality as well, which gives you a couple of options. Oh, right. Is <laughs> <laughs> yes. Okay, that looks good. I mean, I mean that's debatable, but that looks a effective and mm. um, what we're going to do is show layer timing because we don't want these two things to be coming in at the same time we want to give it a bit more dimension yeah i'll move that back here Maybe and this is a back. great animation tip um that we've actually learned on adobe live before as well is uh from sophie eleanor um and she was telling us mm -hmm. about yeah when she first started animating everything sort of happened on a beat or happened kind of at the same time or in sequence and learn over time it's much better to stagger everything out yeah. so everything kind of has its own flow and um yeah yeah you know, a bit more room to breathe because otherwise everything happens so at once and then it's over that's it it's too much and so you're not really yeah. telling a story with it you're just getting hit in the face with a kettlebell which is not <laughs> ideal it's not what you want what do we think yeah what do we think about that is that are we there would you post this to your instagram i think we need a logo so we've got um uh, comment from chat, shop now could have a solid yellow drop shadow or an outline around the letters. Ooh, so I guess, yeah, that's the thing, right, with the um, CTA is how much, like, how much you want to kind of make it stand out so that people do click it. So I remember back in the day, it used one. to just be a red underline on, an, on the internet, but, yeah. you know. <laughs> have you ever done that thing where you um, send someone an email with blue text with a with an underline under it saying click here but it's not not a link and then they get really no <laughs> no but i've seen people do that. doing that on instagram where they <laughs> type the thing where they're like oh hey if you're confused about what's happening in this video i can and then it's dot 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 and in brackets they type read yeah. more but you can't click it and it doesn't drop yeah. down it's really frustrating yeah Such a like, ah. <laughs> yeah it's, it's legitimate pain i'm not yeah. sure about this um outline because it just seems like it reduces the legibility a little bit mm. but maybe we should make that a higher contrast maybe if we get rid of that and we could make it do you reckon a yellow is that am i really overdoing it with the color i mean i kind of want to cry but it's the vibe <laughs> it's good <laughs> you know <laughs> i like it yeah i have a love-hate really? relationship with outline on on letters it's because even a single line of outline i find will impact the legibility a bit um, Maybe we keep it. Sometimes, yeah, it that's works. it. Sometimes it works. Yeah, yeah. It, it is just trial and error. Sometimes, isn't it? Yeah. All right. Well, that's it. Oh, we'll grab a logo. So we might. I think we're just going to stick with um, the logo that we've got in our brand. Ooh, not our swipe files. We can swipe it the logo if we want, and then we can edit it. But I think we're just going to stick with the brand and grab the logo from here because that's not what we're doing um it's just easy to drop the opacity or change the blending mode in some circumstances so let's grab this one and we'll put it at the top and in reality we probably wouldn't be able to put it there if it was going on instagram because you wouldn't be able to see it but we'll just drop it back a little and then i mean we could play around if we swiped it we could play around i mean we could even play around with the um the colors and stuff in the colorize as long as it's one color, it seems to be totally fine, totally workable. I mean, this is this is a this is a bit abrasive on the eyeballs as it is. So let's go with the green. There we go. <laughs> we could animate the the logo as well, but I think I'll next I'll show you how to um, create your own template so you've got a bit more control, and then um, upload it into a, uh, Express. So yeah. nice. I'm just in illustrator this is so this is my um carousel post we we love a carousel and the way right. that those elements sit across yeah each of the slides and that can be a little tricky like i figured out a way to do it in express when you're building multiple pages 
within Express. And it's like I draw a little box and then I align the box and stuff. And uh, this is just, it works really well. So you'll notice here, we've just got a great box. And what we need is some images for our brand. And before you'd have to go and search on um, Adobe Stock or like stock websites and stuff. Uh, we're just going to go, oh, we're actually just going to jump into another doc. Um, let's just go, it really doesn't matter the size for this one. Create from scratch. We just want to find some images that is, that's going to work. So we'll go gym gear in all caps for no reason. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and let's find, that's pretty, yeah. I mean, yes, that is very, very pink. So let's, um, let's find some, we want some like kind of moody, moody backgrounds i think to work under text so it doesn't have to be mm. um contrasted and maybe that i mean that doesn't seem that exciting we could also use the text to image ai feature if we wanted to but i feel like in that time i'm oh that's all right um the time that we've got i'm not going to do that but that's definitely an option you can just um right yeah text to image MG, like, I just really want a gym bag that's got dramatic lighting. Please help me. And then I find that that sort of stuff things. is like really great at creating things that really shouldn't, like, don't really exist. Like, um, if you're ever like thinking, exist. oh, <laughs> well, like, you know, you're looking for gym gear. There's going to be lots of stock photography of gym gear. So, but there are yeah, there's exactly, lots of use yeah. cases where it's, I don't know, it's like something that isn't usually seen in a desert or something like that or in the snow yeah or exactly underwater yeah. or something like some some sort of situation that is a little bit um far-fetched or something but you have this specific yeah, use fully. case it's always great to just be like oh can you just ai this up for me please it's so good yeah that's crazy and it's so good for like illustration for creating references as well mm. like um i think i saw pink pony post a reel about it yesterday um using it as a reference, go and check it out. It, it was just really, I was just like, Oh, Christy. Yeah. So good. Yeah, yeah. So good. Uh, so we're going to go, uh, we've got our image here and I want to use it as the background for, um, the first page of the carousel. So I've just got the image selected. I'm going to the three dots, add to brand or library. And we're going to choose, we're going to choose our, um, fitness, hold out fitness library and add it. We're going to go into Illustrator. This is like, oh, I love it so much. Is it here yet? Not yet. It might pop out in a second under not grouped and I'll pop it into the um, group. Here it is. That's our image. And like, look at that. Nice. <laughs> and now I can use my image. And I know I've also saved it in Express. So when it comes time to um, putting this together in Express, um, I can just grab it out of my library. It's super, super, super easy. Yeah. All right. And that's just like um, a multiplied shape on the top, which I copied. We're going to make a clippy mask and we're going to paste it. Okay. So we've got our image in there now. And that's almost just for reference because when we get into Express with the template, we're going to um, we're going to be replacing it because it comes in with the overlay over it, which is it's fine if you want to keep it. But if your client wants to swap it out, mm. you want that overlay separate. Uh, so first thing we're going to do is come into this little graphic here and you can see it's all, uh, line work and that's going to be pretty complicated. We don't necessarily um, want to have it come in as line work because then selecting all the bits, is just going to be a little bit nightmarish, even though it's possible, it's totally possible. So I'm just going to, um, oh, she's thinking, I'm just gonna, whoop. Hmm at the beach ball uh yeah not ideal expand it and expand it multiple times once more for luck and can you explain what you're doing when you're expanding and why you're doing it so i am we'll go back yeah so we've got uh line work here and what it is is um this is uh so it's like a pass a like an actual it's a stroke yeah, yeah that's it and you can like change it which is not necessarily what we want to be doing. So I've grabbed the entire shape, which has been grouped, go up to object, expand. And what it's doing is it's going, okay, it's not live line work anymore. Mm. You've just got to do it a couple of times, sometimes with um, complicated shapes, expand. 
um, it is now a shape. Yeah. Cool. So if I grab, yeah, if I grab like this one here, I'll just bring it up beside it. That's line work too. So if I go, if I command Y it, you can see that that's line work, whereas that's a, a, a an expanded shape. Mm, and yep. then that I would um, unite the entire thing just so any of those overlapping shapes, they kind of all join together. Mm. And we still get these little little bits in here that are separate but there's a m many fewer separate pieces in that instance so it's just a bit easier to work with um, when you come into to express but nice. you can also just swap it out for one of the saved graphics in your library um, especially something that's just one color and then you can edit it, edit the color there if you need to mm. so I'll get rid of that cool um same thing with these little bits. Oh, no, I'll leave that. I'll leave that because that's simple. These little bits. So these are all like live text. And this will come in as different pieces, but I was wondering if I set it as a compound path. Where's that object? Object. Oh, we'll just see what happens. I was thinking okay. maybe I like, it'll like it. Live experimentation. <laughs> yeah, we're just going to see what happens. Um, yeah, we've got our text and everything. We've got our fonts. Okay, so that looks good good um let us save this um and then we're going to jump back into express i'm going to get out of there we can essentially we can just wanted to grab some images from it nice um whoop, i've just lost my audio oh you lost me you can't hear me so I'm just going to come into, um, okay. Hopefully, uh, um, hopefully you're back soon. We're going to go, <laughs> um, back into, uh, here. Yes. We're in the right spot. Wow. That took a second. Um, and we are going to, um, Upload from there we go. There we go. Cool. Our assets. We've got a template folder, and we're going to open that up. And I bet we'll I bet we'll like struggle during this upload. <laughs> yep. There we go. Um, I think what's happening is when Hannah is uploading something crazy, it's like affecting her internet quite a lot. <laughs> Oh my goodness. You're stuck with me, guys, until she comes back. I'm sure she'll be back in a second. Um, meanwhile, I'm going to talk a little bit about our... Oops. Sorry about that. Our um, next stream tomorrow is going to be with Annika Agawal as well. Um, so we have a stream on Wednesday... And, uh, sorry, on Thursday and Friday, which will be Wednesday, Thursday, um, there in the US. Um, haven't quite got Hannah back yet, so just one moment. We can definitely see her screen. Let's see. One moment. You can at least see what she's doing um, as I try to fix this. This, bear with me. So. There we go. We got you back. We lost you for a second, but we've got um, you back. Right, what we want to do is this is actually come in, it's the background. Um, and it's got that overlay stuck on it. So we're going to delete it. We're going to come up to our stuff and head into our library. I know it's a little complicated having both and it might take some getting used to it and like you just don't have to do it but uh, you can easily send your client the brand and just give them what they need in that branding section and not overdo it with like the 15,000 extra colors and stuff so um, let's come down to images and we should have oh yeah I didn't prove that but we'll just pop this image in There we go. And uh, whoop, we might just send it all the way to the back because we know we want it to. 
bit back and then we'll lock it for now and grab a shape we just need a box drag it out and we're going to uh, we'll send that to the back whoops send send to the back and then we'll come down here and just pull it there we go nice. keep it simple and then we're going to multiply and pull that down i think it's you know it's interesting to have the image texture and everything but we really want to consider that legibility so darker is better than lighter because people are just going to keep scrolling if if they can't read it they're just going to keep scrolling yeah all righty cool mm -hmm. and then we can um make any changes we need to we'll check out the type and everything so that all looks pretty good come over here the background's looking a bit funky so we're going to um change the background color Mm, that should have done it, but we'll just find out. Ah, yeah, there. So it comes in as an like an image in the background. It's like stuck. So if we delete that one, then there's no background. But oh yeah, that's a lighter one. But if we then come up here to the background color and choose that one, and you can see here that this text has kind of come in a bit weird. Yeah. Um, I think it's got to do with like alternates and glyphs and things so and we'll just like retype this bit Ooh, all caps there we go and this oh yeah that's just come in as a grouped object so that's good uh yeah and we just pretty much go through and we make sure that like everything is kind of usable all right, mm. same with this one. Fix the text. I can't remember what that said, so we're just going to write plan ahead for your work out. That sounds like it would. That's accurate. That makes sense. Just kind of want to, yeah, there we go. All right. And um, then we need to kind of organize it in a way where it's client friendly. So we will. Definitely lock this overlay because we don't want them to touch that. Um, and we might unlock the back so that if they wanted to come in and they say, oh, I kind of want to um, replace that image. Well, we can duplicate it. Okay, so they could just delete it and then pop another one in. Um, or if it's something that they've grabbed from the stock library here, they can just, um, it will just let them replace it and they can go in and search. It's mm. pretty straightforward to pop another one in. And then we will probably lock this element too. And you would tell your client how to lock and unlock elements so that they can then go in and swap that out for a different one if they have they've duplicated the, um, the template and they uh, want to use a different element there. Mm. So you would just give them a rundown of how to use it. Basically, if anyone's designing anything, they're going to have to understand how to use the program but um, we can just make it really client friendly and so this stuff is all editable um, and then I would say with these boxes this is something I forgot to do but I don't think I've really got the time to go back and do it see when I tilt it now it's not a straight box and that's kind of like the way I would be telling my client to use it mm. because when you kind of pull it out it kind of skews a bit so if they had a shorter title there, that's not going to work. So you're much better off um, having that as either a straight box or we could just, let's just leave that there so I can eye drop it. Let's just grab another shape from here. And yeah, there we go. So you just want to be mindful of those things. Like it might um, skew or distort in some way mm. and then we could we could group it but i feel like they're just gonna the idea is what are they gonna do they're gonna go in and change the text so um we'll stick with that keep it simple right um and then same with this so that's the background i will lock this one uh yep and lock that one and are we able to it would be really nice if we could just like swap that with another linked 
another linked asset i don't know maybe that's a that's a feature that can come at some point um great so that, that's great so they can go through and they can update that that's cool nice and easy uh, yeah i would i would be inclined to un oops not to look at to ungroup the text as well because they just want to click the text and use it really simply mm. um, but they will need to resize the box behind it same thing you'd uh, place it with a, a, a rectangular box so that when they skewed it it wasn't distorted mm. and then um same thing for this one too so you go ahead and you'd look the elements right and we can go up to here and you can see we've got our three pages and then that will export so you can download um png jpeg i i i don't know what the best practice is but i typically do a png from my laptop to upload to instagram because i feel like i have the best quality from that yeah. but jpeg is suitable for websites and online really uh even a pdf which is pretty cool and so we can select pages or all pages and then download um there we go download and then you'll have your asset ready to um ready to upload Awesome. in the, the segments that you need it because you've created those artboard sizes in um, Adobe Express. You could also go share. And so we're going to invite collaborators, which is, um, we'll get to my burner account here. I love having and a burner And I can invite account. to edit. Uh, but the, the big one that we want to do right now is make it a template. So we're going to hit make a template. I'm going to give the name, uh, what are we doing? So, oh, we lost a box. That's all right. Tips, carousel. Uh, you can add some notes if you need to, like um, just reminders. Like I have actually done print documents for my clients as templates on here. And so my notes mm. are like, please speak to your printer to convert to the correct color um, output before printing it. Just so that they're hyper aware of the fact that this is an RGB when they download it. I'm not right. sure if you can change it yet. That's um, cool. Anyway, so. We're going to choose a brand or a library. We'll, we'll save it to the branding. We'll save template. And then we'll hop in, Ooh, creating our template in the background. We'll hop back in over here and it should turn up in our, yes, it looks like it has, in our brand. And sometimes I've had a few clients where I've uploaded, so I've handed over the brand, but um, I've still had to add a couple of templates in. So I've mm. um, added them in and they didn't get them added in. I had to re-share the brand with them. So if you're, if you're having a problem where you aren't um, able to, or your client isn't able to see it, Oh, okay. So I've already added my burner account on this one. Then uh, that potentially could just be a matter of resharing with them or um, sending them a direct link to it. So let's jump into the burner account. And in here. Yeah. So it's telling me I need premium to use the brands, but it is letting me preview it, which is really good. And so your client could get a feel of it before they commit. But like I said yesterday, it, there's so many things that is time and money saving. And here's our template, start a new file. It's just unbelievable that um, we now have access to this, not for ourselves only, but for our clients as well. It's pretty phenomenal. It's pretty cool. Yeah, so it's just telling me I need to upgrade and everything's watermarked, but at least I can get the feel of it. And like I said yesterday, um, <laughs> I haven't had a client say, no, I'm, I've chosen to use a different application. They've just been like, yes, that sounds great. Let's do it. So now they can like kind of add what they want in. And awesome. that doesn't um, impact our, so let's change the title here. That won't impact the template that we've created. So I'm just going to be really creative and say new title. <laughs> classic, classic graphic designer. Yeah, amazing. And because we've got that box set up properly, we can then go in and do our three degrees skew. Oh, four degrees. Yeah, there we go. There we go. And let's even change it. To a different color just for the sake of oh yes i can't okay because i only have the um, free account for this one we can't do that uh and then we'll just pop back over here 
and here's our recent document so that's the one that says new title if we head back into your stuff um here's our file here new title uh if we head into our brand we can still see it says workout tips. So you could you could do Lorem Ipsum for all of the content in the templates so that your clients know that um that that is the template and they're not gonna override it. But I do tend to save a backup as well, just in case, because you mm. never know. But with um, being able to move from Illustrator to um, Express so easily, it's not too, I mean, you don't want it to happen, but it's not terrible if it does happen. Yeah. Um, if you lose a template and you have to recreate it because you can just upload it from Illustrator again. So that's pretty straightforward. I don't know how much time we've got left. I actually can't hear Finn at all. <laughs> so um, I'm just going to keep working. Um, I'm just going to try and add in another page. So say we did want to, our client was like, I want five workout tips or more than two. Uh, we're going to select this one because we know we want it as the text format. We're going to duplicate the page and you can see that we've got that element that's carried over. So oh, how cool. are we going to deal with that? First of all, we'll get rid of this one um, and we can go ahead and change the color and, and, and those elements. So I'll just make it a dark blue just because I know it's going to work. And um, we might pop over here. So say we want to we want to add something in there and we'll just grab it from our stuff. Yeah. So I'll try and work as quick as I can. I'm not sure if I'm going to get cut off. Um, here we go. Let's go with our drink bottle. All right, we're going to pop that there. And this is where it gets a little bit <laughs> back to basics. We're going to we're going to pull out the box. Um, and I like to what do I do? Grab that. And I will I'm just trying to oh yeah, so it's been a hot minute since I've done this, but all right. What we want to do is we basically want to create ourselves a guide so that we know the exact placement and i'm not sure like i would use coordinates if i was doing it across artboards that i didn't have lined up next to each other but we know for sure that that's in the corner there and so we'll grab both of these and we'll copy and we'll leave that there for now we'll jump into this page this is going to be too close to the edge but that's all right um paste it in did we copy it correctly last time oh how many times yep and so I will like, br that's, so we're missing the top. So I will just bring that back over and align it with the outside edge of the artboard. And uh, this is a really great way to do this. It does tend to snap, um, but I can see that. Yeah. We've only got one minute left, that. guys. Let's just zoom in and see how far off we are. Kind of, <laughs> we'll group it. And we're just going to wiggle it just over just a fraction. Maybe we've got just the edge of it. But uh, yeah, anyway, so that's kind of how you do it. Um, we will ungroup. I'm just so used to the commands, <laughs> losing track of which one. There we go. Yeah, and I mean, it's not legible there, but if we pop back into here, we'll get rid of that one. And we can see that it flows across like the other one. So if we downloaded that, then that should theoretically, and I would be testing this, um, it should match up. So what we can do is hop back in here. We'll go just to test it out. This is not something I've tried, but I've been thinking about doing it. So let's create a new post. Let's use We're going to be really close to the edge here, file. ladies and gentlemen. Might be a quick cut right at the end. And what it does is it lets you preview it so you can actually see it's just loading it's just thinking about it there we go add that she's thinking caption here i don't know if i need to uh, great and then we'll just select instagram and we should be able to preview look at that so we can check whether or not it's worked That's awesome. and it looks like it has That's so great. happy days yeah and you can do that with the facebook and stuff as well um but i would i would definitely be um 
testing that out, if you're bringing in new elements, I would actually be exporting as JPEGs, bringing it into a program like Illustrator, lining it up just to make sure it is seamless because there is nothing more irritating than when it's not seamless. <laughs> yeah, but that's it. So we've um, added an additional page to our template. That's awesome. I wish you could hear me. <laughs> I'm That's so funny. Um, we're one minute from cut off. So what we can do is organize. But I'm not going to cut her off. Okay, these guys, files as well. But it will cut off so eventually. So if I wanted to like grab these, and um, I think that sounds from me yesterday. As Hannah's doing Pop this, don't forget to join us tomorrow. We'll be back with folder. Annika at the exact Drag same on. time. Yes, okay, it's going to have. It's going to be lots and of just fun. Tidy it up. Some Halloween stuff. So that we're not overwhelmed. Stuff. Hannah's done a great job, right? Let us know in chat. And what a pro! Stuff going she on. just kept going, even <laughs> though which is our audio easy cut to out. do when you when you're a designer working with multiple clients or you've got different types of projects on the go. So I've got like a folder here for my work as well, and um, then having those folders for the swipe files is really effective too. So we did the the logo, and I wonder if we could do that as a compound path, and it would simplify it. Let's find out. So we'll jump in here. We're gonna grab this. Although I did add it yesterday to. My